Hey, hi everybody, Claude Diamond here with Phil Finote of Sparta, New Jersey, where I actually, um, I went to high school there, man, and that's how we kind of hooked up. You, you're, you're making, you made, a, you made a lot of money the other day, didn't you? I did. I, um, I, I actually made uh, $14,000 in a matter of 24 hours. Smile, smile. Yeah, that, no, it's, that's it's so <laughs> much, that is so much. Do you remember those crummy high school jobs and college jobs we had? Where they right. did nothing and how many hours did to fourteen thousand dollars? That's a lot of money. You know how what? Much, it took how many me hours. Well, thanks to you, Claude. Uh, I saved yeah. me a lot of time with the uh, with the gut sales method. I pre qualified the the person the right way, uh, the way I was supposed to, so I wasn't wasting time. Um, I got right down the business pretty quick. Oh. It was one phone call, and once we were pre qualified, I agreed to meet at um at a at a uh mineral springs which is mountain creek a nice little a nice little area there yeah yeah, to meet. yeah yeah a little nice ski area there's a nice little bar out there and it's like a spa area it's, it's a nice place okay and we met over there and uh but i already knew i already knew that i was getting the contract signed right i didn't go there to make a presentation i didn't go there to show you know this guy that I, I i'm all that that i'm a real estate investor that i can buy his house today i went there to get a contract signed period and that's the that, only reason and, and the golden rule is never go to a meeting or a house or any go never go anywhere unless you're going to pick up a contract or a check that's absolutely right absolutely. and i before i met you i was doing all that i was presenting i, I was did it too time. right i was doing i, I was too. wasting so much time claude and and now i'm i'm just i i'm it's it's great and part of that millionaire mindset is is not is not wait is not wasting time. Right. Is 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 working smart. What's what's the difference between a millionaire and a guy who's always broke all the time? Everybody has twenty four hours. How come some people use their time better? I think they have a higher self esteem, or confidence, or they just work smarter. Sales, um, asking questions, asking, asking questions, the right questions. begging them, please fire me, Mister Prospect. I don't want right. to waste. Minute of your, I just want to help you solve a problem, and I want to make an honest living. Can we do business today or not? You know, just go. I go right to it. Maybe it's the New Yorker in me, or sorry, the New I, Jersey boy in me. That's it. Yeah, that's you know? it. <laughs> we just that's get right down to it. In California, where I lived, it said, "Let's have lunch." Yeah, you know, is their big thing. No, I don't want lunch, man. I'm, I'll, I'll, a, I want to stay thin, and B, I want to make money, and I don't want to waste three hours in traffic. Right, <laughs> and, and and you know, and right now it's uh, eleven thirty in the morning. I just had breakfast with my family, with my kids, I'm, and now I'm laying. Since they're, they're really loud, so I'm in my bedroom. So now I'm laying. In, I'm not at work. I mean, what are we doing here, Claude? Yeah, I'm at my home here in the mountains in Colorado. You know, there, there's a down thing. You have kids, I have kids, and they think, gee, dads are home all the time, you know? And my dad was, he, God bless him, he's not here anymore. That man got up while it was dark, and he'd come home when it was dark, six, seven days a week. I mean, right. he just worked his tail off, you know? And so I could have the opportunities to, to live a lot better, a lot, a, a lot the more enjoyable, luxurious life, really. Yep. Like, well, how many hours did you put in that deal for that 14,000? Uh, about three and a half hours. Three, aren't you ashamed? What is that? I, I know. Well, what is that? That's almost $5,000 an hour of work. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, I know. That's man. crazy. Definitely wasn't worth my time to drive to Mountain Creek. Now, you do one thing that um, I, I, if you could just talk for a minute about the type of deal you did, and you do some very unique gut style marketing, which I really love. Could you share? I do. That? Yeah, sure. I, um, <clears throat> I can share a little bit of it. I have no problem with that. I, I, so I like to do, uh, there's, there's a couple of ways to do things, uh, especially around here. Uh, if you're in a place where you have a lot of houses, I mean, if you're in the middle of the country, I don't recommend this, but if you're in a place where there's a ton of houses around, um, like here in New Jersey, uh, you know, I highly recommend driving for dollars because, it, you know, when, you, when you're downloading these lists and you're getting these lists from list source and you're mailing these people, whether you're handwriting or you're sending it through a mail house, you're, it doesn't mean it's going to go to that vacant house. It, 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 these lifts are never spot on. So when you're driving around and you see tall grass, a fallen gutter, a broken window, you know, take a picture of that house, write down the address and mail them. Or you can use an app called Deal Machine like I do. Uh, my deals come from there. My deals also come from handwritten letters, um, personally handwritten. Okay, let, now you're hitting my ner nervous system. Handwritten right. letters. I like unique marketing. I like things that stand out. Um, most of us don't get handwritten letters anymore. And I think when someone gets something like that, it, whoa, this must be important. So, you know, it's unusual. It's right. 
it's not a label. It's not one of these pre-stamped labels that is usually junk mail or something like that. Right, right. And I have terrible handwriting and, and the conversion rate on that is, is phenomenal. I mean, it's mean? unbelievable. What do you mean phenomenal? What's, what's phenomenal? I, I'm, I'm, if I send out 20, I get three or four calls back. You wow. will never get that with a postcard, ever. Not, not, like, it doesn't happen. You, if you spend a thousand, if you send out a thousand postcards through a mail house and spend a two thousand or whatever, spend a ridiculous amount of money, you might get one deal out of that. Sure, I could send out a hundred handwritten letters in a week, in less than a week, right? Handwritten, mm -hmm. and I'll get a deal from that. Yeah, and that's well worth your time. Right, and that's unique marketing. That's smart marketing. Right. Absolutely. Um, and you're doing so, what else? And what else do you do? And, and the deal you just did, you, you, how did you make that 14 K? Was it a lease purchase and an arbitrage assignment? What, what did you do? That was an assignment of contract. So that was a wholesale. Um, so yeah. I basically locked the property down on the contract and, uh, for $96,000. Um, and I called a buyer in the area that I've known for a very long time. I've been working with this guy forever. And I gave him a call. I said, hey, you know, I, I think I got a property here that you might be interested in. And uh, he came down the same day, the same day, came down, and uh, uh, we, we came to an agreement on 110, and he bought it same day. Boom. And that was your 14000 up front outside of escrow or within escrow? That's within escrow. So Within escrow. It, so you're going to get a nice check. Yes. That. And everything. So a lot of people are thinking right now, how did he find, okay, you know how to find the properties. You're like me. You're a blood, you're a blind old bloodhound and you can still sniff out a bone somewhere. Right. Before I met Claude, uh, I, I've never had a problem finding properties. I was, I am, I am amazing at finding off market deals. I know how I am. I am spot on with it. However, I couldn't convert them. That was my the, biggest problem. The conversion and the closure is where most people have the biggest problem, where they spend the least amount of time. They're always worried about other things, right. uh, spending too much time on all the other stuff instead of getting on that phone right now. How did you find this buyer, for instance? Uh, this buyer, I've, I've just known through, through friends of friends. I, I've known him for a long, He's from Sparta. He's got a couple of rental properties here in Sparta. Okay. I've known the guy for, forever. He's actually a, fr a friend of mine. And uh, he's always been bugging me like, hey, if you get anything in Lake Mohawk, I want it. So this house was in Lake Mohawk. So I, I, I locked it up and I called him and he bought it right away. What if you found a property in Florida? You were sniffing around because we're, you know, sitting at home with good Wi-Fi and a good computer. Oh, that's so easy. Deals anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. If you find a property in Florida, if you find a property in North Carolina, I don't care where in the country you are. With social media, with Facebook now, I mean, there's about a million investor pages on Facebook alone where you can post a deal if you have that deal there. And to right? me, price or terms. You either get a good price, you sell it to another investor, you right. get great terms, sell it to somebody who wants to live in the house and get cash and a note right. or a passive income or whatever. How would you find that investor for the Florida property, for instance? Say you got oh, a great deal in, in East Bumble, Florida. Right. So the first thing I would do is I would go, depending on where in Florida, let's just say you want to say Tampa, let's okay. just say Tampa. I would go on Facebook. I would type in on the search Tampa real estate investors, uh, Tampa real estate investors and hit search. You're probably going to see about six or seven pages that come up um, yep. for that search. I would join every single group and I would post it in every single group. You will have buyers galore blowing up your post. Boom. And you got to deal with, say, uh, this sixty, seventy thousand dollars profit. Profit. But I, I highly recommend, like, I, I kind of reversed engineered this deal, right? Because I knew I marketed hard to Lake Mohawk because I knew this buyer wanted Lake Mohawk. Sure. So it's, it's kind of nice to build. I, I recommend building a relationship with a buyer first or a few buyers. A few buyers. Exactly. Exactly. A few buyers and find out exactly what they want and where they want it. And then market to those, those places. The marketing part is easy. It's just a couple of strategies that you can learn. But find, those, find where they want to buy, market hard to those, to those areas, and then you got a buyer. You don't have to worry about getting, getting rid of the, of the deal. How about the consistency now? You got one good deal. You're rich today. Okay, how, right. about, how about, you know, we've all gone through that feast and famine thing, you know, right. and everything. And my big thing is consistency. I want to make, I want to make, do a lot of deals and make a lot of money in between deals. You know, Claude, I told, we talked about this the other day now, and I yeah. think I said to you in a message, I said, now I got to stay consistent. And, you know, I, I don't, I thought about it later that day when I was laying in bed before bed, I said, well, I just got to keep doing what works. Yeah. It's really and that keep, simple. And keep it fun. 
and keep it fun. I, did, I know it works. I just got to yeah. keep doing it. What's the best hobby in the world? Making money. Making money. So Isn't that the fun thing? You're getting on the blood. phone, solving people's problems, the seller, the investor, whatever. You make right. money in the middle, you know, and you go out and get some good New Jersey pizza. Right. That's you know, it. All the time. My thing is in my business to make money every day through notes, through consulting, through deals, um, through educational products and services. I, want, I believe in multiple streams of income, so I don't have the feast and famine. Right. And that's where I like to get guys like you, guys who know how to hustle and have this great smarts and you know, find different ways to co make consistent income. Do notes, for instance, or do consulting, you know, on top well, of that. And that's what I was just going to say here. If, if anybody here also wants some help with marketing or, or um, uh, colored letters or and it's just to learn exactly the strategies that I'm using now to get these off market deals that buyers want. I can help. I have no problem with helping anybody out. That, with that. That's great. You want to give your uh, email or something like that? Yeah, or, you guys can email me, or you can. Um, you know what? I can post a link in the chat here. Can I? I'll, I'll put. Yeah, post that. It'll be on YouTube. Just post it in there. Okay, and that's great. Thank you for sharing this story with everybody. You know, I didn't mean to invade your privacy, but I no, love. of course. I love real stories from real guys who know how to hustle. They're not boo effing who guys they go out there they pick up the phone they hustle they take their responsibilities for their family seriously and they and they make great money there's you know what job in the world is going to give you fourteen fifteen thousand dollars for three hours work sales all it's, day it's always sales it's sales Asian influence whatever you want to call it and sales getting on that phone finding these deals finding you know, I hate to say this because, uh, uh, but turning chicken shit in the chicken salad all day right. long. <laughs> right, you know? right. You know, and I, I have one more piece of value here, Claude, that I want to share with your audience. And because uh, I think a lot of people get stuck on this and I also have gotten stuck on this. And this is kind of like the guts, a part of a guts method that I kind of learned. And it's a pretty cool strategy. And people, a lot of sellers will never give you the first number. When you ask what you want for a property, what do you, what would you like to get for your property? A lot of them, they don't want to say it. They, they're like, oh, you, I know that the first person that says the numbers loses the negotiation, right? So that, that's usually what they say. Um, so I kind of like to get off that subject when, when they say no. I say, yeah, I can appreciate that, Mr. Seller. And, and, I'll, and I'll start to get into something else and ask a couple other questions about the property, just getting off topic, just, just to get them talking. Sure. Get, once I have a trust. little bit, yes, trust, exactly. Once I get a little bit more trust built, I'll ask, Hey, you know, Mr. Seller, what do you owe on this property? What, you know, what do you owe? I, I, I need, I, you know, this is kind of information I need to Loud know. You know what, what do you owe? And, and, and some, if you get an objection, they might, they might say, I'm not comfortable telling you that. You could say, listen, Mr. Seller, I can appreciate that, but that's all on public record and I can look it up in my office. Can you yeah. save us both some time here? And can you just tell me what you owe on the property so I don't have to look it up when I get to my office? Nine out of 10 times, they're going to tell you what they owe. Sometimes what I do is I'll say, it's, is your mortgage, uh, you paid how much for your house, sir? So probably, so you have a small mortgage, a, kind of a middle, a middle mortgage on the price you paid, or is it real large here with the seconds and thirds? Round numbers, sir, if you could just help me out. Yes. Okay, boom. You know, you, you, make, it broad, you make it macro to get to micro. Yes, yes. And then eventually they break it. Oh, it's $100,000. The house is worth two twenty. dollars and, and boom, now you know approximately their payments, their PITI, and you can decide, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, do you want a price or terms? I can give you cash, but I need a better price to move quickly, and that's what I'm paying for. That's what you're getting, speed. Or I can give you a higher price, but I get, you got to give me terms, a rent to own, a lease purchase, a subject to, an owner finance, something right. like that. Can we do business today, or, is this, or would you rather just take your time and wait for someone to give it full price? I'm very direct, very honest. Yes, yes. And that's what I was getting at to next is, is, is as soon as you know what they owe, not like I said, nine out of 10 times, they will tell you when you, you know, when you, when you, if you even if you get that objection um, and then, you know, you start talking again, you start asking more questions, building that trust. And then you say, you know, Mr. Seller, you know, you told me that you owe X on the property. What would you like to walk away with? Today. In your pocket today. today. I always and use that. I'll give you that number two and then you know what they want. It's yeah. genius. But yeah, I try not to mention price, but sometimes you can't go back and forth more than one round, one repetition, yes, because it gets, it gets a little abrasive and obnoxious. Well, what's your yes. best? Price? I don't know. What's your best offer? You know, that's that's silly. That's two kids in a schoolyard there. Exactly. You got to get away from that. You want to get to listen. To, let's get let's be two adults here. You know, uh, the house is worth two twenty five. You owe a hundred. 
Uh, how about we split the equity? I can get your contract today. I can close ec equ I can close escrow in 15 to 20 days. You get your cash. You're done. You don't have to pay closing costs. You don't have to pay real estate commission or anything. And we're and you're done. Wouldn't you like this off your back today? And I try to create these emotional strings within them. You know, these emotional feelings. You know, or if they want a better price, then I'll I'll go to my lease purchase or subject to offers. Um, on it, but I need something price or terms with them and I want to find out in one phone call Right, and if I can't get one phone call, then I'll say thank you I'll do a video follow-up follow-ups big and then I'll send them uh, Then I'll put them in my follow-up system and I'll call them up in 30 oh, days. Oh, hey Phil You must have sold that house by now, right, buddy? You know, do you remember me, Claude? We had this great conversation about a month ago yeah, I remember, but you know, I, I don't, you know, I didn't sell the house. I had an offer on it and the guy backed out, you know, the house. Oh, needs isn't that money. irritating? Doesn't that drive? Didn't you have that money spent in your head there? Cause I know I you, did. you and your family want to move. You bought another house. You don't want two mortgages. You want to take the family to Disneyland. Isn't that, isn't that horrible? That disappointment and setback? It's, it's a shame. It really is. This is guts. You know, this is this is what we talk about all the time. So I just want to thank you for your uh, sharing your story. You did another deal before this, didn't you? I did. I did uh, before. Uh, I actually still have two deals on their contract. However, they're getting through. Uh, they're getting get through probate. I guess they haven't been probated, so okay. they have to go through this entire probate. Probate process. always takes time. It's yeah, tough. it always takes time. But that deal, those that deal was, I got it under contract for forty five thousand, and I sold it for seventy six. But I, I don't know if it's going to go through. That's, it's, it's still in the unknown, but we'll, we'll listen, see what happens. I have, I, have these jug, I have these juggle balls on my desk. I am always juggling a couple. I can't juggle right now. I'm always <laughs> juggling a couple deals at the same time because I know one or two are on hold. One or two are going to fall apart. They're going to fall apart. One or two. Uh, this, this week we had a deal, a total surprise deal. I thought this was dead, buried, and gone. It came, it resurrected itself like a phoenix. And we got a lot of money from this one deal, which was totally unexpected. So, How long you, was it in escrow for? Uh, it wasn't even an escrow. It was in negotiation. Oh, wow. and then, it, uh, then the guy went on the witness protection program. And, and, you know, wouldn't respond to phone calls and everything like that. Then out of nowhere, he said that all of a sudden, without any communication, uh, we got a check wire to us. I mean, it's like, that's great. It's like, whoa, where'd this come from? I didn't even know we were still in the deal here. And sometimes it's just, you got to have a lot of irons in the fire. Yeah. If you're waiting on one deal, I get a lot of people, they got this one deal, the Hopa Hopa deal. Yes. And that deal never happens. Never happens. You've got to, multiple deals, multiple streams of income, so you have consistency. Consistency. You don't That's want that right. famine because it, it it's it's no good. I'd rather have I'd rather have no deals than one deal on a maybe. Exactly. When it's I'm less stressful. Yeah. When I mentor people like you, I like to see you not only do your own deals but create contracts with passive monthly or weekly income, whatever you negotiate. Maybe do consulting. So you're right. making money in between deals. You can make thousands of dollars a month just consulting on deals with no geographic limitations. These right. are, you know, especially if you're if you if you're learned in guts, because sometimes you don't want to touch a deal. They don't make sense. The or they don't want you in the deal, but they still want your knowledge. You ever notice how they try to pick your brain? Yes, absolutely. I get that all the time. You can I, make I, a I get, fortune. Yes, I get my. Well, the, the most questions I get is like from a lot of my friends in the real estate space, they are constantly asking me how I'm getting my hands on these off market leads. How it's the biggest question I get. How are you generating the X amount of leads every single month on a consistent basis? I get that question all the time. You do it with your mailers, driving for dollars, oh, using deal machine. I get um, out and work. I hustle. It's simple. I hustle. 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 We all got to find what works for us. It's like dieting. You got to find the diet that works for you. I use right. social media. I put out videos and live interviews, a podcast, anything that draws attention to me. I get phone calls, texts. I get a lot of people, buyers, sellers, investors. I am busy, but I got to qualify them real fast because I can't do free consulting all day. Right. Right. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and yes. so having a bit, you're doing so great, man. Thank you so much for sharing you're your story. Welcome. Thank I, you. I love success stories. I hate crybabies. I love successful entrepreneurs, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's I appreciate it. You take care.
Hey, I'm good for for uh, for Saturday at three. I'll see I you. Should be, I should be home. Take care. All right. See you later, Claude.